What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux. Yes, my voice sounds terrible. You know, I've been sick. I tried to wait to make this video, but it's just been way too long since I've made one. Uh, so the, vo if the voice is too annoying. I apologize. Uh, but today's video is going to be about 1.2. Uh, we had a really interesting conversation on stream uh, yesterday, and I wanted to put that in a video uh, because I, I think it's helpful to some people. So um, as we know, with 1.2, you're going to be getting Tooth Fairy and you're going to be getting uh, Changeling, Jessica, right? Um, two very important characters that might be having some people freaking out on exactly what they want to do with their accounts, right? A lot of people uh, like asking me, do I need Tooth Fairy? Is it okay if I skip Tooth Fairy? Um, is my account dead without Tooth Fairy, right? And there's some of you who are like, well, get Tooth Fairy or, you know, don't play the game. That's how a lot of you think. But that's not the case for this game. I brought up a very good point on stream. You really need to know where your account is, right? Uh, especially when it comes to getting a character, right? So for those of you who are like, I have every healer, do I really need to go for Tooth Fairy? Well, it depends. How did you build your account, right? So for instance, just gonna go through something. Again, this is for people who might not be able to afford Tooth Fairy, or you're wanting another character, and you're wondering if you can get maybe Tooth Fairy like at a later time. That's what this video is for. So if you if you're this person who went all in on Melania, right? You got Melania. Uh, let's say you got Pickles as well. Melania is not a crit character, right? Uh, she's a mental damage character that is just straight up attack percent mainly. You can use her for crit, but she's mainly going to be an attack percent uh, all in on power, right? If you went for her, you don't need Tooth Fairy with Melania, for instance, right? If you're the type of person who's going to go all in for Black Dwarf, Black Dwarf is not a crit character. You're okay with not getting Tooth Fairy. If you're going to go for a poison team, Jessica wants so to be. So she doesn't need Tooth Fairy, right? This is where when you know your account and you know exactly what you're going for, you can make decisions like that as in not getting a meta character. But it just depends on how you built your account. If you have your account centered around Regulus, Lilia, uh, you know, a lot of reality damage characters, you plan on getting characters like 37, Maybe you looked at Spathodia. Maybe you're looking at um, Shemaine, right? Those are characters that would do extremely better with Tooth Fairy because they're crit-based characters, right? So if you have an account that's not geared towards crit, Tooth Fairy is not a major necessity for you. Now, of course, someone could argue, well, you might need her in the future. That's fine. If you need her, that's fine. But for those of you who are just on the fence, you're not sure, you're like, bro, I already have all these healers. Now everyone's telling me to get this healer. I totally get it. I understand. Lots of anxiety happens for you. I just don't want people thinking, if I don't get Tooth Fairy, it's the end of the world. It's not. I have a CN account where the content's much harder and I don't have Tooth Fairy. And I'm able to get through a lot of the content. Of course, I have a crit-based account that would love Tooth Fairy. But it is possible to get through the content without her, right? So I just don't want people to feel really pressured. Like, there's multiple ways to play this game. And so that's all I'm saying. That's mainly what this video is about. Tooth Fairy, very good character. but if you have concerns because you have every healer already, um, if you're trying to get a character 
that's after her or in 1.3, and you're like, you're just unsure, again, there's another time that you can get her. She's going to come back eventually. In 1.5, she'll be added to the standard pool. It's going to be okay. Plus, we're still unsure what Ezra's going to do, which it seems like Ezra's going to be a support. So you never know, right? But I'm just giving you guys my point of view. Don't have to take it. Don't have to listen to it. Uh, you know, like the video if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you guys think. Comment if you're if you're thinking about skipping Tooth Fairy, let me know your reason. I'm curious. Um, because I'm not saying that I'm skipping her, but like I just just from the recent streams, I'm feeling a lot of people's like anxiety. A lot of people are unsure if they can get both. And they're like, do I just uninstall if I can't get Tooth Fairy? So I just don't want that pressure, especially for a game that I love. I don't want people to feel that pressure. But guys, this was a really short video, plus I don't want to talk too much. Um, and again, I apologize for the voice. I have tea. I have like all types of costumes and stuff like that. I'm trying to get better. Um, do remember, though, if you are going for Tooth Fairy, uh, I have in the Discord a sign up for the uh, for the Tooth Fairy summons. So please sign up. I'll make a big announcement in the Discord. I just kind of put it up, and I've just been telling people on the live stream. But uh, sign up if you want to do community summons. We'll do a big, big event for it. It'll be pretty fun. Um, again, if you can wait, some of you I know are going to summon immediately as she's there. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You lucky gamers, have a good one. Lucky Lux out.